Deep in northern Minnesota's snow-covered Chippewa National Forest, there is a kind of time machine. Stephen Sebastian's job is to peer into the future. It really is a world-class research facility for understanding the effects of what we expect to happen in the future. Within the forest lies a plot of government land called the Marcel Experimental Forest, where the U.S. Forest Service and Argonne National Laboratories have built 10 silo-like structures. Inside, researchers raise the temperature from zero to nine degrees Celsius to simulate different levels of global warming. Half the chambers also add varying levels of carbon monoxide to mimic expected future increases of the greenhouse gas from human activity. Then they watch what happens. It's not encouraging. The trees are not doing as well as they're doing in the unwarmed enclosures. Some of them are actually dying from the conditions. They're too harsh, too harsh for those trees to continue to grow. That's not just bad for the trees. Minnesota lies at the southern end of a peat belt that stretches into the Arctic. It's frozen cover trapping 12,000 years of plant buildup since the glaciers have melted. Peat is this like spongy, awesome soil substance that can be thousands of years old, slowly, slowly decomposing, or as we think about like climate change, basically storing carbon. Storing that carbon is an important job. This ground is covered in peat, plant material that goes down for meters. Peat covers about 3% of the world's land surface, but it stores a third to half of the soil carbon in the world. So as temperatures go up, it goes from being a storer of carbon to a releaser. And that just makes the world hotter, faster. Inside the enclosures, it's already happening. We are seeing essentially the worst case scenario. We're seeing what we expected, but it's real. You do a little bit of warming and it starts to destabilize the system. The experiment suggests that if global temperatures rise just a few degrees more, enough to begin melting the world's peatlands, decomposing peat could eventually release more greenhouse gases than they store, accelerating climate change and setting off a vicious cycle of global warming. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, the Marcel Experimental Forest in Minnesota.